Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. In this video, as requested, we're going to be looking at the Catalyst Linux proprietary drivers against the video on open source drivers. This time, we'll focus on Team Fortress 2. Now, FPS Max is set to 1000, so we're not capped at the 300 frame limit. And the drivers are the absolute latest that I can get my hands on. So let's go ahead and see what the results are. Starting right off the bat, we're going with 1080p minimum settings because this is the only scenario that I was able to get the Catalyst drivers to perform properly. At this settings, the 32 frames per second difference on average is what we're getting with Catalyst leading. However, after changing the settings to maximum 1080p, suddenly the Catalyst drivers go crazy and they drop down to an average of 15 frames per second. So this is a 20 frames per second difference on average with the Radeon drivers leading in this scenario. So reducing the resolution, I was hoping the Catalyst drivers would be able to catch up again, but suddenly it's plateaued at 15 frames per second, even decreasing to 14 minimum. So this is a 30 frames per second difference with the Radeon drivers still leading. Now if we go into the final test case where it's 720p with all settings off, not only does the Radeon driver outperform its own self compared to just now, it outperforms the Catalyst driver by a whopping 151 frames per second difference. This is pretty insane. So jumping into the side-by-side -side comparison here, you're going to see what I'm seeing. On the left is the Catalyst drivers and on the right is the Radeon open source drivers. Now the Catalyst drivers and Radeon source drivers are being pushed to their max here because we're going at 1080p maximum settings. And what you're seeing is that the Catalyst driver cannot surpass 15 frames per second. Now when the Catalyst driver can surpass it, at the end of this video I will let you know when it does, it's unplayable still. Not because the frame rates are low, but because of another issue that you'll see at the end, which was pretty baffling as well. So only in this scenario was it playable, but even then the frame rates are so depressingly poor compared to the Radeon Open Source drivers. So here, this is where the Radeon Open Source drivers really showcase their metal and show that they are going above and beyond what Catalyst can right now do for us. So this is one of the first tests that I've done where the Radeon driver pretty much just outclasses the Catalyst driver in all regards. A bit more of that in a moment when I start talking in the summary. So that's it for the side-by-side -side comparison. All right, there you have it. We have the results and this time it's really interesting. So while at 1080p minimum settings, we were getting okay readings from the Catalyst drivers. As soon as the changes were made to its settings, everything went kaput. Basically out the window, the Catalyst driver went insane and dropped down to a basic frame rate of 15 frames per second. Very bad. And it consistently did this and it still does this now even after I've deleted it, reinstalled it, fresh install, it's the same. There's also another part that was pretty surprising. I'm going to show you right here right now that it is glitching out like crazy. What you're seeing right now is when the frames were able to reach higher frame rates, it was glitching out like crazy. Only when it was reaching the 15 frames per second was it not glitching out. So there's something seriously wrong with the Catalyst drivers. So that said, it's definitely a clear win for the Radeon drivers, not just in terms of performance, but in terms of usability and stability. It's pretty clear that the Catalyst drivers just went bonkers here. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope it was educational or useful to you in one way or another. And thank you for watching.